Hi everybody, welcome to my cozy cottage. Thank you so much for stopping by. Happy Thursday to you. Today I'm joining in a collaboration called hashtag new to me and the host is Kimmy's Kitchen and more. And on this video we share something that is new to us. So how have you all been? I hope you're all doing great. I recently visited a really cool place and I want to show you a few clips of it. So I went to Mystic Connecticut yesterday and I found an Alice in Wonderland tea shop. Now I'm going to give a shout out to Grandma Sandy, that channel, and I'll be adding her link in my description box. She loves Alice in Wonderland, so I'm hoping that she sees this video. So when you went in the shop, it was a tea shop, but it was decorated all with Alice in Wonderland. I just couldn't believe the decor in there. And I took some clips of it, so I want to share that with you. And I also have a few things from Timu. So I'm going to start with the Timu haul, and then I'll show you the clips of the Alice in Wonderland near the end. I only have a few things from Timu today that are new to me. So first of all, I'm going to start off, I have a few pieces of jewelry. I'm also going to show a clip of my outfit of the day and what I'm wearing. I have my Timu ring, angel wings, and the angel necklace. This was all from Timu. And this blouse was from Timu. It wasn't a recent recent purchase. I purchased this last year. I've been shopping at Timu for quite a while, but I haven't really hauled a lot until lately. So this is what I have here. And when I have jewelry, I like to show you a close-up. But this is gorgeous. This is a pendant of the Bible, this necklace. And it actually opens up and it has the Our Father prayer in it. Isn't that neat? And there's, I believe, two pages. I'm going to show you a close-up of that so you can see it. So here's a close-up of the pendant and I'm going to try to flip it so you can see. And then it has another page. There we go. Isn't that neat? Let's flip it over. So, isn't that neat? I just love that piece. Next up, I have another jewelry piece. And this one is, let's see. Oh, I loved this. This is a pendant, and I'm gonna hold it up close and I'll give you a close up to it. But what this is, I loved how it had a Victorian look, but it is a magnifying glass. So you can actually use it to put it on. Let's test out the label on something to see. It's hard to see with the camera. And I thought that was so cool. I can't wait to use this at work. <laughs> so I'll show you a close up of that. Oh, here comes my Tootsie. I didn't start with Tootsie because she was snoozing. Do you want to say hello, puppy? Do you want to say hello? So um, I'll show you a close up of this one. Pretty neat, hmm? I love that idea. And the last jewelry item I'm gonna show you is, if I can get it out. Might not even have to do a close up of this one because the size of this is amazing. Look at the size of this compared to my hand. It's an Eiffel Tower. Isn't it beautiful? And it's actually double sided. So if it flips around and it's nice and long and I'm actually gonna put this one on. Oh, it shows up really nice against the yellow. Oh, I love this. This is really nice. And let me get you some of the prices on this jewelry. Okay, so for the Eiffel Tower, which I'm absolutely in love with, $1.26. For the Bible, that was $1.18. And for the magnifying glass, it was $1.25. 
and they're all really nice. I think the magnifying glass, I think actually all of them can go over the head. Let me just try. This one definitely can. Let's try these. Let me need to take the glasses off my head. Oh no, um, this one's not, which is unfortunate because I would like to pull this out to use it. I believe it's just gonna have to go over my neck, let's see. I may have to switch out the chain, yeah, because I really wanted this where if I had to like quickly take it off, but it is cute. And the, let's see how the Bible is. Oh, I think that one goes over the head, which is nice. That figures. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. So pretty. It looks really nice on the, um, the solid colors. Let me know in the comments what you think. Oh, I love that. All right. Now, next up, I have a few tops to show you, and I'll make it real quick. I just like to show that if you search in, you can always find some really cute deals. First, I want to show you a cold shoulder, I'm taking it out of the bag, cold shoulder blouse. I love these for the summer, especially when you're going out. Let's see if I'm holding it right. <laughs> Here we go. So it has a V-neck. It has a pretty floral, tiny floral print. And here's the little cuff sleeve here, but it has an open shoulder. Isn't that cute? So I'll try that on for you at the end of the video, you'll see it, but really pretty. It's probably 100% polyester. Pretty much everything they have is. I did get a 2X in these, but I found that some of the things now are starting to run a little big on me, but I may start ordering a little down to an extra large is what I was thinking. Yes, 100% polyester, but it feels nice. It has a nice feel to it. All right, next up, I got this cute red t-shirt that says love, and I love the cheetah print. Very cute. It feels nice. It's not, um, it's not too shiny. It's nice. It looks comfy, and this one's probably, my guess would be polyester also. And I did get the 2X. Yes, 100% polyester. But it's cute, and I'll try that on for you. And I also got the another green t-shirt with the cheetah print. I must have been into cheetah print this day. <laughs> I thought it was cute. They were all marked down really low. That's why I bought them. And this one's also polyester, nice feel. And let me tell you, the green one, this one here, $2.17. So I just was looking for bargains that day, but I thought they were cute to hang around in the summer. And the red one was $2.27. So $2.27. <laughs> Crazy. The, the deals you find when you're searching. This one was a little more. This one was, you ready for it, $4.17. So this was my splurge. <laughs> $4.17. So this was just a mini Timo haul. Let me show you how they look on. I'll show you my outfit of the day. And then we're gonna look at some Alice in Wonderland clips. Okay, so this is the outfit of the day. I love this blouse. It's all about the sleeves with this blouse. They have an elastic at the bottom and it's very soft and flowy. And it just feels really feminine and pretty on. Okay, so this one I really love. I love the style. I love the cold shoulder. It has a cute little band on the arm. It fits nice. It's a little loose, but I like to be comfy. And yeah, I give this a Jody thumbs up for sure. Okay, now on to the red top. It has a good sleeve length, nice and long. I give it a thumbs up for that. It's just a comfy, cute, casual t-shirt. Yeah, it's great. And for $2 and change, it can't beat that price. So yeah, this gets a Jody thumbs up. Now on to the green. I love the bright colors, and this is a nice color green. Love the cheetah print, very cute. Good sleeve length, not too short, good length. Fits nice. Yep, 
definitely a Jody thumbs up. Very cute. For $2 and change, can't beat it. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to the Alice in Wonderland tea. So here is the window when you're walking in and it's full of teacups and teapots and there's the rabbit. Unfortunately, we're in a window, so there is a bit of a glare, but I hope you can see all the beautiful teapots. Now we're going inside. There's flowers everywhere and all these little decorations on the ceiling. Beautiful pictures on the wall, lots of mirrors, even the wallpaper. Everything is just so pretty. And this is where you order the tea. It's always tea time, and they have all the choices of different teas to try. And there's the Mad Hatter in the corner. And coming up next, you're going to see where Alice in Wonderland fell through the hole, and she's literally hanging out of the ceiling. There she is. Outside of the shops, there's all these little streams and ponds with little ducks in between all the shops. And it's so adorable to look at. And here's a little glimpse of one of those areas. So what'd you think? I just absolutely loved the Alice in Wonderland tea shop. It was so fun to see. It was, if you're ever in Connecticut, I definitely recommend hitting it up. It was in, I was in Mystic, Connecticut near the aquarium and there was all about 60 little gift shops and uh, it was just adorable there. So if you're ever in the area, I definitely recommend checking it out. So I'd like to thank Kimmy from Kimmy's Kitchen and More for hosting this. I recommend going to check out our channel and type in hashtag new to me. This is an open collaboration for anybody to join. And I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. I'd love for you to also consider subscribing and a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. It helps our channels grow and it lets YouTube know someone's watching our videos. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Bye for now, my friends.